How's it going everybody? Today we are going to tie up a little bass bug using our spawn football beads. This is the first video using these and we are super excited to share with you um, this pattern and we're going to get after it. This is a Kevin Goman pattern. Uh, we've just been tweaking it a little bit to fit our local fisheries out here in Washington State. So I'll use this for bass and carp on the Columbia River. So to start, we're using an Arex FW550 size 4 and a 7.5 millimeter kg olive spawn football bead. This is our largest football bead um, and it's, it's a great, great weight, great size. So we're gonna secure this slotted bead like we would any other slotted bead with some lead-free wire wraps. We're just gonna get that bead to sit right where we want, like so. And then we're gonna start our thread. All right, to start off this pattern, we're gonna use some UV modeled Galaxy Mop Chenille from Hairline in olive brown. Cut off a little section of this. Like so. And we're gonna, we're gonna burn this and trim this at the very end, so. If it's a little long, that's totally okay. So we're gonna tie it on the underneath side of this. And we're gonna go up a few wraps on the curve of the hook. So we want to have a little slight bump right there at the end. Just like so. All right, for the next part, we're gonna use our Spawn Simi Seal Poly Keep. Line up the fibers here. This is another area where you could use a dubbing loop, uh, but I'm not going to. Just going to clump and dump it on there and bail it back. Like so. We're gonna work our way up using semi seal up the shank of the hook. Kind of see this fly is already starting to take shape, and we're gonna leave ourselves just a bit of room, probably six millimeters there. And now we're gonna use some barred crazy legs, some chartreuse pearl flake. This is a pretty cool leg. Um, Caroline makes this product, and I've been a pretty big fan of them. All right, so we're gonna take two. Tie them in one side, flip it over, tie on the other side, get some wraps, and trim it off just like so. About an inch, maybe a teeny bit more than an inch. There is where I like to keep the legs. 
Uh, gives them enough room to flow freely, but not too much room that they get wrapped around the fly. All right, then we're gonna go back to the spawn semi seal and just a little bit here, right in front of those. All right, so now there's a pl plenty of options you can go here. Um, I'm gonna be using a patch out of a Fly Tires variety pack. There's a lot of really cool feathers in there and they're perfect for bugs like this. Um, but you could also use just a standard hen saddle. But I'm gonna use a sh grizzly chartreuse feather here. And I'm using that out of one of the Fly Tires variety packs from Whiting Farms. Tie it in, like so. And we're gonna give this fly a nice, vibrant collar. Feathers like to catch. If they're catching, just unwind it and start over. We'll brush it out and make it look pretty here in a second. Don't need a ton of wraps but enough to give it a good profile on the collar of this fly. So for a lot of flies, I like to get as close to the bead and have the materials almost come out of the bead. But for this one, I really like this hot spot collar, whether I'm using it in bright orange white or uh, here in this fly chartreuse, I like that collar. So I'm not gonna Sharpie that, I'm not gonna uh, dub that, I'm just gonna leave that as is um, and have a really clean finish, but a thread-based finish. So, whip finish and you're done. So that fly is gonna hit the bottom and that football bead is gonna cause that hook to stay in the right position rather than rolling as it would with a standard slotted bead. Go in and burn the tail, Maybe you add a little head cement and you're good to go. But that's that, really simple fly, really productive fly, both salt water and fresh water, but this one, this particular color wave, I'll be using for bass. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe and feel free to reach out with any questions in the comment section below. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great day.